Hello guys, hope you are okay. You are all enjoying your life. You are enjoying watching my videos and you are also enjoying practicing ultrasonography. I've been thinking that why should I not uh, produce some of the contents which help for the differential diagnosis? Because for the differential diagnosis, there is no separate videos. Uh, so far, uh, YouTube is concerned, I have searched for. So I think that would be a great addition and you people would definitely like that. Uh, beside all other videos, I have already mentioned the differential diagnosis, but so far the separate videos are concerned, I have not uploaded yet. So this is one of the series and I'm starting from the gallbladder and the gallbladder wall thickening. Gallbladder wall thickening, most of the time, pay, uh, clinician confused with inflammatory conditions. Whenever there is gallbladder wall thickening, they straight away jump into the cholecystitis, which is not the true case. Uh, so far the gallbladder wall thickening is concerned if it is more than three millimeter it would be considered as wall thickening, true wall thickening and if it is less than that you have to keep in your mind the fasting status of the patient, postperineal status of the patient and then you uh, label your uh, di differential diagnosis. As far as the differential diagnosis for the gallbladder wall thickening is concerned, it could be inflammatory, could be cholecystitis, but there will be a typical sign and symptoms related to the pain and the patient history and epigastric pain. So for the hepatitis is concerned, hepatitis is also another differential for the gallbladder wall thickening. But in case of cardiac failure or congestive cardiac failure or renal failure, the situation is different. So therefore, there are multiple diagnoses, uh, differential diagnoses you have to keep in view uh, and also ask for the relevant history and the other investigation as well. So let's start watching this video and I'm sure this will help you to understand how many differential diagnoses we can have for the gallbladder wall thickening and how we will write it on our report. So let's start watching this video. This list shows the uh, thickened gallbladder wall differential diagnosis. Uh, more than 3 mm if the gallbladder thickening you see on the ultrasound imaging this would be considered as thickened gallbladder wall but make sure this should not be physiological make sure that this is not the contracted gallbladder or empty gallbladder so if in despite of all these things the gallbladder is fully contracted and you can see more than 3 mm wall thickening so this would be considered true thickened gallbladder wall which include on the topmost you have to look for the cholecystitis. There will be inflammatory changes, patient will be having a severe pain, uh, pain in the epigastric region and other associated symptoms will also be available. So you can confidently diagnose as a cholecystitis. This could be calculus cholecystitis if there is stone available and if there is no stone this could be a calculus cholecystitis so must correlate with the um, clinical and laboratory investigations as well the second is hepatitis because of the generalized inflammation of the liver the wall of the gallbladder will get enlarged and that could be because of the hepatitis patient will not be having a particular symptoms of the cholecystitis but this would be secondary to the hepatitis changes so be sure that you are not misdiagnosing hepatitis or do not mixing hepatitis with the cholecystitis. In hypoalbuminemia, it, as the name show, the albumin level within the body, it becomes reduced than the normal. As a result, inflammatory changes or as a result, you can see there is a balance of the water uh, occur and water start accumulating in the extracellular compartment of the body. As a result, you can see there will be uh, enlarged gallbladder wall. Cirrhosis. In cirrhotic patient, as this is a, a, a serious disorder and uh, degenerative disorder, the degenerative process resulting into granulation formation of the liver parenchyma, it also affects the wall of the gallbladder. As a result, secondary to the cirrhosis, you will see there will be thickened wall. In congestive heart failure, all the fluid balance become disturbed, there will be ascites and secondary to ascites, there will be thickened gallbladder wall. In renal failure, the same, there will be a disturbed dynamic, so for the body fluids are concerned, there will be ascites and because of the ascites, there will be thickened gallbladder wall. So because of ascites, you will see there will be thickened gallbladder wall which should not be confused with the inflammatory process 
it would not be because of the cholecystitis it would be secondary to fluid accumulation within the body.